children have a look at the structure of sulfuric acid on the screen it is a strong mineral acid with the molecular formula h2so4 its historical name is oil of vitriol the salts of sulfuric acid are called sulfates sulfuric acid is soluble in water at all concentrations ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੈਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਟੀਜ਼ ਆਫ ਸਲਫਿਊਰਿਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜਾਂਗੇ ਕੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਸਲਫਿਊਰਿਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਦੇ ਕੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਸ ਹਨ ਗੈਸ ਕਰੋ ਇਹ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਯੂਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਅੰਦਾਜ਼ਾ ਲਗਾਇਆ ਇਹ ਕਾਰ ਬੈਟਰੀਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਲਫਿਊਰਿਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਦੇ ਕਈ ਉਪਯੋਗ ਹਨ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਸੈਂਟਰਲ ਸਬਸਟੈਂਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਕੈਮੀਕਲ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ore processing fertilizer manufacturing oil refining waste water processing and chemical fertilizers concentrated sulfuric acid that is 18 molar sulfuric acid is used as a dehydrating agent that is to remove water since it has a tendency to form hydrates ki a medical science which we use honda hai sulfuric acid is used in the production of nitroglycerin and in organic ester and organic nitrate jo ki ek explosive vajo use hunda hai par eh ek vasodilator de taur te vi vartya janda hai jo ki blood vessels nu dilate karan wala substance hai ate kujh khas kisam de heart diseases bimariyan di treatment lai use ho sakda hai children industrially the main method of manufacture of sulfuric acid is the contact process the acid produced by this method is free from arsenic impurities and hence can be safely used for the preparation of edible products in this process sulfur dioxide is first oxidized to sulfur trioxide the trioxide is then absorbed by concentrated sulfuric acid the product is then diluted to the desired concentration of the acid required the process involves the steps shown on the screen production of sulfur dioxide by burning sulfur or roasting iron pyrites oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide absorption of sulfur trioxide into 98% concentrated sulfuric acid to form oleum dilution of oleum with water children let us first begin with the production of sulfur dioxide by burning sulfur or roasting iron pyrites in sulfur burners you can see air containing oxygen passing through the bottom of the tower and sulfur of yellow color placed on the shelves in sulfur burners sulfur dioxide is prepared by burning sulfur in air it is also prepared by roasting iron pyrites in air in either case an excess of air is used so that the sulfur dioxide produced is already mixed with the oxygen for the next stage let us now discuss the purification of sulfur dioxide in steps sulfide ores the smelting and roasting de naal garam gas bandi hai jis vich adhiktar sulfur dioxide heavy metals arsenic 
ਹੈਲੋਜਨਸ ਅਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੰਪਾਉਂਡਸ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਸਮੈਲਟਿੰਗ ਔਰ ਰੋਸਟਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਣੀ ਐਗਜ਼ੌਸਟ ਗੈਸ ਦਾ ਆਕਸੀਜਨ ਕੰਟੈਂਟ ਜਿੱਥੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਹੋਵੇ ਕੱਟ ਬਲੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਐਗਜ਼ੌਸਟ ਗੈਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਈ ਆਕਸੀਜਨ ਕੰਟੈਂਟ ਲੀਡਸ ਟੂ ਐਨ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਡ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸਲਫਰ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਆਕਸਾਈਡ ਵਿਚ ਲੀਡਸ ਫਰਦਰ ਟੂ ਦ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸਪੈਂਟ ਐਸਿਡ ਇਨ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਗੈਸ ਸਕ੍ਰਬਿੰਗ ਐ ਵੇਖਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਡਸਟ ਪਾਰਟਿਕਲਰਲੀ ਕਾਪਰ ਬੇਰਿੰਗ ਡਸਟ ਸਲਫਰ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਆਕਸਾਈਡ ਔਰ SO3 ਦੀ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਕੈਟਾਲਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਮੋਸਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਲੀ SO3 ਇਸ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਵੇਸਟ ਹੀਟ ਬੋਇਲਰ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਰੋਕਣ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਐਗਜ਼ੌਸਟ ਗੈਸ ਦਾ ਆਕਸੀਜਨ ਕੰਟੈਂਟ ਲੋ ਹੋਵੇ ਅਤੇ ਹਵਾ ਦੀ ਲੀਕੇਜ ਵੀ ਕੱਟ ਤੋਂ ਕੱਟ ਹੋਵੇ ਦ ਸਕ੍ਰਬਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਗੈਸ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਮੈਲਟਰ ਔਰ ਰੋਸਟਰ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਡਿਵਾਈਡਡ ਇਨਟੂ dry separation and wet separation dry separation methods are realized in connection with a smelter or roaster in which case the gas exhausted from the furnace gas phase is generally first conducted into a waste heat boiler where a part of the gas heat content is recovered thereafter the gas is conducted to an electrostatic precipitator a significant portion of the heavy metal compounds contained in the gas excluding mercury and its compounds separate already in connection with the cooling the created gas is often conducted to the production of sulfuric acid and in that case the wet separation of gas takes place in the sulfuric acid plant in scrubbers scrubbing towers and wet electrostatic precipitators the purpose of the wet scrubbing of gas is to further cool down the said gas adiabatically to a suitable temperature and simultaneously to separate from the gas both solid and volatile impurities such as heavy metals halogens arsenic and selenium in connection with the wet scrubbing the so3 in the gas is washed from the gas as spent acid when it comes into contact with water children let us now learn about the dust precipitator now let us have a look at the dusting tower where purification of sulfur dioxide is done by passing a mixture of sulfur dioxide and oxygen in a dust precipitator when steam is passed from above vapors condense and impurities settle down now let us have a look at the scrubbing tower also known as washing and cooling tower in the scrubbing chamber water is sprayed from above so that the soluble impurities are removed waste water is collected from the bottom from time to time the moist gas is then passed through a drying tower the next tower is the drying tower where the gas is dehydrated by spraying concentrated acid from top and introducing the gas from the bottom the tower is filled with quartz waste acid is collected from the bottom dry sulfur dioxide and oxygen are then passed to the next chamber which is the arsenic purifier tower children as you can see the arsenic purifier tower contains iron pyrites which is actually hydrated ferric oxide here further purification of the gas takes place the mixture of dry sulfur dioxide and oxygen are then passed through a preheater to heat the gases They are then fed into a catalytic converter where oxidation of sulfur dioxide to trioxide takes place.
oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide. This is a reversible reaction and the formation of sulfur trioxide is exothermic. Children, this step is the key step in the manufacture of sulfuric acid. We will discuss the favorable conditions for the maximum yield of SO3, which are in accordance with Le Chatelier's principle. The first among them are high pressure. Since the forward reaction proceeds with decrease in number of moles, therefore high pressure will favor the reaction. In actual practice, a pressure of about 2 bars is used. This is because gases are acidic and corrosion of the plant occurs at high pressures. Let us now discuss about low temperature. Since the forward reaction is exothermic, therefore low temperature will favor the reaction. However, rate of reaction decreases with decrease in temperature. Therefore, the reaction is carried out at an optimum temperature of 720 Kelvin. We will now discuss about the use of catalyst. To increase the rate of reaction at low temperature, a catalyst is to be used. The commonly used catalysts are platinum or vanadium pentoxide represented as V2O5. Since platinum is quite costly and is easily poisoned by arsenic impurities usually present in SO2, therefore these days divanadium pentoxide is employed because it is not only cheaper but is also not easily poisoned. We will now learn about purity of gases. To prevent poisoning of catalyst, the gases must be free from the impurities of AS2O3, dust particles and moisture. The next point about which we will learn is excess of oxygen. To have maximum yield of SO3, oxygen is used in excess. A flow scheme for this part of the process looks like as shown on the screen. The catalytic tower is the most important tower where catalyst vanadium pentoxide is present. Sulfur dioxide is catalytically oxidized to sulfur trioxide with atmospheric oxygen. The reaction is reversible as well as exothermic in nature. This is the key reaction for the process. The high yield of sulfur trioxide will lead to more production of the acid. The sulfur trioxide gas is then fed into absorber tower. Bacho, egal yaad rakhan yog hai ki low temperature sulfur dioxide di oxidation which sahai hunda hai. J temperature both cut hove ta reaction di darvi cut javegi. High temperature te sulfur trioxide decompose hoke vapas sulfur dioxide ate oxygen which badal sagda hai. So an optimum temperature of 450 to 500 degree Celsius is generally used. Children, let us now learn about the absorber tower. Absorption of sulfur trioxide into 98% concentrated sulfuric acid to form oleum. In the absorber tower, sulfur trioxide is absorbed in about 98% sulfuric acid to form oleum or fuming sulfuric acid. The sulfur trioxide formed is not dissolved in water directly to yield sulfuric acid. 
This is because this reaction is highly exothermic. It forms clouds of sulfur trioxide and water vapor which corrode the plant and machinery and make intolerant working conditions. Instead, sulfur trioxide is absorbed by 98% sulfuric acid to produce pyrosulfuric acid or oleum. We will now learn about the dilution of oleum with water. Oleum is then diluted with required quantity of water to get sulfuric acid of any desired concentration. In industry, the two steps that is absorption of sulfur trioxide in sulfuric acid to form oleum and its subsequent dilution with water are carried out simultaneously to make the process a continuous one and also to reduce the cost. The sulfuric acid obtained by the contact process is generally of 96 to 98% purity. Children, how hun sulfuric acid the physical properties bare jaande haan. Pure concentrated sulfuric acid is a colorless syrupy liquid. It is also known as oil of vitriol. 98.3% concentrated sulfuric acid has a specific gravity of 1.84 at 298 Kelvin. It boils at 590 Kelvin and freezes at 283 Kelvin. It is highly corrosive and produces burns in the skin. Sulfuric acid has a high boiling point of about 590 Kelvin and has a high viscosity. Children, let us have a look at the structure of sulfuric acid to understand it better. It has a high boiling point because its molecules are associated due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding as shown on the screen. It has a strong affinity for water. Thus, when sulfuric acid dissolves in water, a large amount of heat is produced which may spurt the acid out of the container. Hence, care must be taken while preparing dilute sulfuric acid from concentrated sulfuric acid which is 98.3% and is 18 molar or 36 normal. Therefore, concentrated sulfuric acid is always diluted by adding the acid slowly into water with constant stirring and not by adding water to the acid. We will now discuss the important chemical properties of sulfuric acid. Let us first learn about the acidic character. In aqueous solution, sulfuric acid ionizes in two steps. In the first step, it ionizes into hydrogen ions and HSO4 negative ions. The dissociation constant is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 3. HSO4 negative ions then dissociate into hydrogen ions and SO4 2 negative ions, that is sulfate ions. The dissociation constant for the reaction is 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2. Thus, sulfuric acid acts as a strong dibasic acid and forms two series of salts. Normal sulfates such as sodium sulfate and acid sulfates or hydrogen sulfates or bisulfates such as sodium bisulfate that is NaHSO4. The SO4 2 negative ion is tetrahedral with a SO bond length of 149 picometer. Being an acid, it neutralizes alkalis to form salts and water and decomposes carbonates and bicarbonates with the evolution of carbon dioxide gas. Being an acid, it reacts with active metals like zinc and magnesium to evolve hydrogen gas. Dehydrating agent. Concentrated sulfuric acid has a strong affinity for water and hence 
It acts as a strong dehydrating agent. Some important examples are charring of sugar. When sugar is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid, sugar charcoal is formed along with water. Let us now learn about dehydration of formic acid and oxalic acid. When formic acid is treated with concentrated acid, carbon monoxide and water are formed. Water is absorbed by acid. Similarly, when oxalic acid is treated with concentrated acid, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide are formed. The water formed is absorbed by acid. It removes water of crystallization from hydrated salts. For example, when hydrated copper sulfate of blue color is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid, anhydrous copper sulfate of white color is formed and water molecules are escaped. Children, let us now have a look at action of sulfuric acid on ethyl alcohol. When ethyl alcohol is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid at 170 degrees Celsius, ethylene and water are formed. Let us now learn about drawing of gases. Many gases such as oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrochloric acid, etc., which do not react with concentrated sulfuric acid, can be dried by passing them through a bubbler containing concentrated sulfuric acid. We will now learn about the role of sulfuric acid as an oxidizing agent. Hot concentrated sulfuric acid is a moderately strong oxidizing agent since it on decomposition gives nascent oxygen. Its oxidizing power, however, lies between nitric acid and phosphoric acid. This nascent oxygen brings about oxidation of a number of non-metals and metals. It oxidizes sulfur to sulfur dioxide it oxidizes phosphorus to phosphoric acid. It oxidizes metals such as copper, lead, mercury, silver, etc. first to their oxides and then to their corresponding sulfates liberating sulfur dioxide gas. With zinc, which is a stronger reducing agent than copper, the reduction of sulfur dioxide occurs further to give sulfur or hydrogen sulfide. Children. Let us now learn about the action on salts. Because of its low volatility, concentrated sulfuric acid can be used to manufacture more volatile acids from their corresponding salts. With dilute acids, carbonates, bicarbonates, sulfites, sulfides, thiosulfates and nitrites, are decomposed by diluted H2SO4 at room temperature. Let us have a look at few examples. Sodium carbonate reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium sulfate, water and carbon dioxide. Sodium bicarbonate reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium sulfate, carbon dioxide and water. Sodium sulfite reacts with dilute sulfuric acid in aqueous medium to form sulfur dioxide, sodium sulfate and water. Sodium thiosulfate reacts with dilute sulfuric acid in aqueous medium to form sodium hydrosulfite, water, sulfur dioxide and sulfur. Let us now learn about reaction with hot concentrated acid, fluorides, chlorides, nitrates, acetates, oxalates and tartrates are decomposed by hot concentrated sulfuric acid liberating their corresponding acids. For example, calcium fluoride reacts with sulfuric acid to form calcium sulfate and hydrofluoric acid. We will now learn about precipitation reactions. When the aqueous solutions of barium, strontium, calcium and lead salts are treated with dilute sulfuric acid, white precipitates of their corresponding metal sulfates are formed. 
when barium chloride reacts with sulfuric acid, barium sulfate and hydrochloric acid are formed. When lead acetate reacts with sulfuric acid, lead sulfate and acetic acid are formed. Let us now have an overview of what we have learned so far. Summary Step 1 Production of sulfur dioxide from pyrites or sulfur. Step 2 Purification of sulfur dioxide from air impurities like dust, arsenic, etc. are removed as otherwise these will lead to poisoning of catalyst. Step 3 Catalytic oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. Catalyst is vanadium pentoxide or platinum. Temperature is 450 degree centigrade to 500 degree centigrade. Pressure is 760 to 1520 millimeter of mercury. Reaction is sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen at 450 to 500 degrees centigrade to form sulfur trioxide. Step 4. Absorption of sulfur trioxide in 98% sulfuric acid to form oleum. Step 5. Dilution of oleum to obtain sulfuric acid of desired concentration. Let us show this with the help of a flowchart. So now, we come to the end of today's topic. Now that we have learned so much, let me ask you a few questions. My first question is, write the equation for preparation of sulphur dioxide from iron pyrites. And the answer is, and here is the equation on the screen. Iron pyrites react with oxygen to form ferric oxide and sulfur dioxide. The next question is, how is sulfur dioxide converted to sulfur trioxide? And the answer is, sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen at 450 to 500 degrees Celsius to form sulfur trioxide. The next question is, Name the catalyst used in the preparation of sulfur trioxide from sulfur dioxide. And the answer is, vanadium pentoxide is used in the preparation of sulfur trioxide from sulfur dioxide. The next question is, are very high temperatures favorable for the formation of sulfur trioxide? And the answer is, at high temperature, sulfur trioxide may decompose back to form sulfur dioxide and oxygen. The next question is, what is the optimum temperature for converting sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide? And the answer is, optimum temperature for converting sulfur dioxide to trioxide is 450 to 500 degrees Celsius. The next question is, why is sulfur trioxide not dissolved in water directly to form sulfuric acid? And the answer is, sulfur trioxide formed is not dissolved in water directly to yield sulfuric acid as the reaction is highly exothermic. Excellent! Well done students! But you, menu umeed hai ki tuhannu aaj da topic manufacture of sulfuric acid changi tarah samaj aa gaya hovega. Thank you students for your attention you have paid in understanding these concepts. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson as much as I have enjoyed. <laughs>